crafty Chrome extensions that will improve your teaching. Hey everyone, I'm Julie from The Techie Teacher, and this past week I published a blog post about five crafty Chrome extensions that will improve your teaching. Since then, I've received a lot of positive feedback and a few questions from teachers that are interested in using these in their classroom. So I wanted to take two minutes to show you how these Chrome extensions work. First thing you probably want to do is head to my blog post at bit.ly slash ttcrafty, uppercase letters do count. And you'll see that I have the five crafty Chrome extensions post ready to go. And within each extension, I have linked in where you can find it in the web store. You'll be prompted to add it to your Chrome. It's already added for me, and you'll see the different crafty Chrome extensions I have up in my toolbar. First one on my list is Crafty Text, which allows you to display large text across any web page without having to open up another application. This allows students in the back of the room to easily be able to see what you would like for them to type in or whatever you would like for them to copy down. Maybe it's a URL address, maybe it's a vocabulary word. So the first thing you want to do is head to the Chrome store or web store and install crafty text to your chrome and you can see up at the top i have all of my crafty text extensions already installed and head to a web page click the ct icon and type whatever you would like for your students to see i'm just going to do the techieteacher.net and click enter or return and i just have to scroll down a little bit to find it and there it is nice and big across my screen everything else is faded out list is Crafty Cursor, which brings attention to your cursor when you're demonstrating where you want students to click on the screen. Your cursor will be highlighted in a color, and when you click, you'll see a red burst. I'm going to go up here and stop highlighting my cursor just to show you the different color options. Click on the CC icon, and you can choose your color. Then click Start Highlighting, and there you go. This is also great to use when you're doing screencasts. The next one on the list is Crafty Level, which shows you the Flesh Kincaid reading level of any web page you visit. Let's pull up National Geographic and highlight the text on this sloth article. I'm going to click on the CL extension and it will show me the actual grade level this article is intended for, 6th grade. This is great if you're trying to figure out if a web page is appropriate for your students list is Crafty Rights, which is an extension that forces Google image searches to only return results labeled for reuse. So this is great for students who are conducting research projects. I want to bring your attention up here to where my extensions are for Crafty Text, and you'll notice that some are black and some are red. The ones that are red means that they're currently disabled. So Crafty Rights right now, if I click it, and it turns black, it's now enabled, and it's going to return images that are labeled for reuse in Google. So I'm gonna open up a new page, go to google.com, and I'm gonna search for an armadillo. And I wanna click images. And you'll see right here, it says labeled for reuse. So anytime I keep this Crafty Rights extension enabled and active, all search results in Google Images will return images that most likely are copyright free. You probably do want to double check just to make sure. The list is Crafty Zoom, which allows you to zoom in or magnify any part of a web page that you are on. So let's say I have my blog projected on the board and I wanted to show someone in the very back of the room these really teeny tiny social media icons. If I come up here and click the CZ icon, you can change uh, your radius and your magnifier degree. I always just keep it all the way to the right and click start. It'll initialize, and then anywhere that you hover your cursor on your screen, it will be magnified so people in the back of the room can easily see what type of icon you're talking about.